So I know it's a little early, but I've been really inspired by some of the things I've been seeing at the Dollar Tree recently. So I wanted to give you guys my top 20 fall Dollar Tree DIY home decor projects that you should try, 10 new and 10 old. With that being said, let's get started. For the first project, we are going to be making a faux eucalyptus wreath. And to do so, we are going to be using these faux eucalyptus stems that the Dollar Tree has been carrying for fall this season. I think these look like they cost much more than $1.25, and that's really gonna be the base of our wreath. So I actually picked up this wreath form from the thrift store for just 25 cents. You can obviously use the ones that the Dollar Tree sells, but this is more affordable, and I liked the fact that it was gold and a little bit sturdier already. So basically, I'm going to take six of these stems, and I'm just gonna kind of shape them around this wreath form, almost like in a horseshoe shape. Whenever it comes to making wreaths, I personally just like to use zip ties, which you can also find at the Dollar Tree. And I think it just gives you a little bit more longevity with your projects. I can use this wire wreath form over and over again simply by just snipping the zip ties off and starting from scratch. Also, I think it just works a lot faster and you can get exactly the position you want. Um, and these hold really well. So I think overall using zip ties over adhesive is definitely the way to go. After I get like the first round of that horseshoe shape, I just snip off the excess and you can just layer as many as you want. And I also picked up this ribbon at the Dollar Tree and I just wanted a nice neutral color, tied it in a simple, just kind of slouchy bow. And I think this looks so seasonal and pretty for fall. Next up, I wanted to incorporate some copper into my seasonal fall decor, as well as some pumpkins, obviously. And this year, Dollar Tree really, I think, upped the ante on their pumpkin game. And I really loved this one that kind of had this sort of like speckled print. And I have had these copper pipes that I've been waiting to do a project with, and I picked those up from the hardware store. So all I'm doing is I'm removing the stem that is on the top. And this is basically just made of like styrofoam and plastic so it just pulls off really easily. And I'm just gonna glue one copper pipe to the top and to the bottom. I did decide to just do some hot glue here instead of super glue, just because it's gonna be up on a shelf. This is primarily shelf decor. No one is really going to be touching it, but um, if it's something that people are going to access frequently, I would definitely use a more substantial adhesive. And after removing that stem, there was already a hole there that was created, so I just filled it with some dried florals. For the next project, I wanted to make this round wall pocket. And basically this is sort of like year round decor, but depending on what you fill it with can make it feel seasonal. So I grabbed one of the pleated chargers that the Dollar Tree carries as well as one of these galvanized wall pockets. And I'm just gonna combine these two things together using some super glue gel that you can also find at the Dollar Tree. To give you a reference on how much I used, I pretty much used an entire tube of the super glue gel and then four dabs of hot glue to kind of just set it in place so the super glue gel had time to dry and everything stayed nice and secure. And initially, if you have this wall pocket at your Dollar Tree, it comes with like a little twine in the middle and I decided to cut that off because that's just a little bit too farmhousey for my uh, personal aesthetic. So I did need to figure out something to put in those little holes. So those little thumbtacks that the Dollar Tree sells, you can just snip those down so they fit inside and I just super glue gelled those right to those little holes just to make it feel a little bit more complete. And after everything starts to kind of dry and solidify, this is like the basic structure, but obviously we have like so many different metals going on. So I thought, let's just give it all one coat of gold spray paint. And then, you know, I just didn't really like that. So I went back to the drying board and decided to make it all black because I do have a lot of black in my house. And just because you're decorating for the season, you still want it to be on theme with the rest of your house, right? So I decided to paint it black now to hang it on the wall this is just what I've done in the past and I've never had any problems is just to super glue gel this little bracket to the back of your things because I obviously can't put nails in here but I want it to be nice and secure so I wouldn't use hot glue I would definitely use super glue gel 
and for summer I just had this kind of hanging greenery that I really loved and for fall I was trying out some baby's breath but I think I can do better so if you guys have any recommendations on what you think might look a little bit better please leave me a comment down below. For the next project I wanted to make a contained tapered candle holder and the Dollar Tree has these glass vases that I thought would be perfect as well as these cinnamon scented pine cones. I did need to make a trip to the hardware store and pick up this plastic pipe. I did decide to spray paint mine black just so it matched the color of the candle and it was a little bit more like inconspicuous that that's what was holding the candle inside. So to start, I'm just going to gently place my tall tapered candle into this little holder here. I'm going to super glue gel the bottom and then I'm going to just gently press it down into the center. I will eventually need to cut that candle down, but just to make sure that the placement was right, I did decide to leave it long initially. And while that's kind of drying, I'm just gonna take one of the bunches that the Dollar Tree sells of these cinnamon scented pine cones and just kind of layer it at the bottom to kind of hide that pipe. Just to give you a reference, I used one bunch for each glass vase. And then after I filled that completely, I just cut the candle down to the appropriate size using a serrated knife. For the next project, I wanted to make a faux eucalyptus arrangement. And to start, I found this face at the Dollar Tree. I liked this face a lot because the shape reminds me a lot of what vintage Crocs look like. The color is definitely way off though. In order to give it a more fall or vintage appearance, I'm going to be using this spray paint by Krylon. It is in gloss leather brown. And I think brown for fall is just very fitting. And I think it's just trending a lot right now, just in home decor in general. But it's it's just a little bit too shiny so to take away some of the shine I'm going to do this waxy coating on top and I will link all of the spray paints down in the description box below and this is actually a really interesting spray paint because you kind of spray it on and then you wipe it off just to give it a really nice texture and movement and after that part is done I just sealed it with some matte clear sealer and now it's just time to fill it and like I said in the beginning I think that these florals specifically from the Dollar Tree are the best that the Dollar Tree has ever carried and just for reference to give you guys an idea of how many I used I used three of the cream color and then four of the greenish red color and it really fills it very well and I think for under ten dollars you get a really nice and complete faux floral arrangement For the next project, I wanted to make an antler coat hook. I love using antlers, turkey feathers, um, things that come from, I guess, animals naturally. This isn't a harmful thing for them. And I found this wooden plaque in the crafter square section and I'm just going to attach these two things together. But before I do that, I wanted to stain the wood just a darker, more moody color. And I'm going to be using a gel stain by Minwax in the color coffee which is a stain I have been really loving recently. You just wanna wear gloves. And gel stain doesn't provide as many fumes, which is another reason why I really love it. So after the stain kind of set in and dried, I just wanted to give it kind of a fun way to hang on the wall. So I had a leftover piece of leather strap as well as a curtain hook. And I'm just gonna glue those pieces together and then attach it to that wooden plaque. And now it is time to add the antler. So I decided for this part, just because I didn't know exactly what I would be hanging on here, if it was going to be heavy. So I did decide to do super glue gel and then clamp it until it was completely dry. For the next project, kind of like the wall pocket, I wanted to make a black raised tray. So this is again going to be something that can change with me as the seasons change depending on what I put on top of here. So to start, I found this floral dish in like the gardening section at my Dollar Tree as well as this glass jar. And you guys have seen me do this and I'm sure lots of other YouTubers do this a million and one times. And I'm just going to connect these two pieces together. Just a couple tips, I like to use super glue gel, especially when you're dealing with glass and with metal 
especially if it's gonna be something people are touching all the time. Um, and you wanna flip it upside down to make sure you're placing it exactly in the center. And again, just like the wall pocket, I wanted to keep it nice and consistent and paint it black. And as I've mentioned earlier in this video, the Dollar Tree really had stepped up their game in terms of the pumpkins that they've been selling. So when I saw these little cloth ones with the gold stem, I absolutely loved them. And I thought they would be perfect on top of this little raised tray in my hutch in my dining room. And for just about $5, I think I have some really cute and fun seasonal decor. For the next project, I wanted to make a pillow. And if you guys have been following my channel for a while, you know that I'm not like a super huge fan of word sayings or word signs, um, but I like to incorporate different textures, different colors that remind me of the season. So when I came across these little rugs, they kind of give me a little bit of a Southwestern vibe, but also very like Halloween colors. It's got the orange, the black, the white, and a little bit of maroon, which I really loved. And I feel like I've shown you guys this so many times, but just for those of you who don't know, you're going to take your two pieces of fabric and line them up with the good sides facing each other so the bad sides will be facing out. And you just wanna make sure you're lining things up pretty well, especially if you have a lined pillow such as this one, you don't want your lines to be kind of crooked and wonky. So after you glue the top and the bottom, I like to glue one of my sides down completely. So you'll have both the top, the bottom, and one of the sides complete and now you'll just want to flip it right side out and fill it with your pillow. I just had a pillow that I consistently use and it's always changing depending on the season and I fill it in there and then I kind of tucked the fringe in the inside and glued that side down as well. For the next project, I wanted to make a rustic book stack, and I actually showed this, I think, around this time last year, I was watching Sherry from Canterbury Cottage and she went to Magnolia and she did like a dupes video that was really, really special. So I'll make sure I link that in the description box below. But basically all you wanna do is take some Dollar Tree books and then take off the binding and then wrap it in twine, or I had this suede ribbon. And I think that when it's time to decorate for a different season, it's always nice to kind of lean into styles that you really like, but you don't have your whole house decorated in that style. So for me, definitely for fall, I've been really into that sort of rustic decor, and I'm going to be putting a lot of that around my house for the fall time. Whenever I'm making that transition from summer to fall, I notice that my house starts carrying a lot more layers. So I wanted to place a layered mat underneath my existing doormat for the fall time. So I've seen these utility mats at the Dollar Tree, so I grabbed three of them. They are nine by 36 inches, and then I also grabbed some duct tape. And I thought this might make the perfect layer, and it's super simple, super easy, and under $5. For the next project, I shared this project in my last Dollar Tree video where I kind of made several different hacks using this faux leather fabric that the Dollar Tree carries and I wanted to make a faux leather pumpkin. So all I did was I laid out that fabric bad side facing out and I took a wooden round that I just happened to have on hand. You could use a charger from the Dollar Tree or a plate and I just traced around and cut that out. With your circle now in place, it's just time to make small holes about a fourth of an inch inward, and I made a hole about every fourth of an inch as well. So I made several small holes. First I made markings, and then I took a nail and a hammer that I had on hand and hammered those all the way around so that way I had small openings for the suede ribbon that I was going to be placing through it. 
After the holes are made all the way around, I took some of that suede ribbon and I weaved it in and out and in and out. So then that way it would be able to be tied off. And basically what you're making is a small pouch. With the cording wrapped all the way around, woven in and out, I did decide to fill mine with some rice just to give it a little bit of weight. And then taking each of the cords, I'm just going to tie them really tight in a knot so that way none of that rice slips out and everything stays nice and sturdy. And I found this pumpkin stem left over from last year and I'm just going to super glue gel and hot glue it to the top of this little faux leather pumpkin. And with that secure and in place, I just removed that excess ribbon and I think it is a very budget friendly way to get a faux leather pumpkin. This is kind of like a fall slash back to school DIY project, but I love using marble during the fall time. And um, a really easy way to get that material is to use the base of a trophy. So I just had a trophy base that my husband let me use for this project. And I'm just gonna use two of the hurricane bases from the Dollar Tree, a taller one and a shorter one. And I'm going to super glue those pieces together. I like this DIY a lot because I like to lean into more of a moody vibe for fall. And also I think it can provide some just like beautiful storage. So on one side I can put some beautiful greenery and the other side I could put some pens or pencils and just place it on top of my desk and it just always looks nice and expensive, but it wasn't. Another pattern I absolutely love for the fall time, especially is checker print. And I showed you guys this in my last Dollar Tree video using the faux leather fabric, but this time instead of the chestnut, I did white and black, and we are going to be making a vase. So to start, I made markings left to right all along the inside of the white. And yes, I am doing this in my robe and my hair in a towel, which is in my opinion, the best way to relax and craft. And I'm just using this wooden piece because I wanted everything to be nice and even and I could keep it nice and straight. So for the black, I made one marking again, just like the white from left to right. And then every subsequent marking I made up and down. Just to point out, I'm making all of those markings on the inside of the fabric and I am using a pencil just so then that way you don't see any pencil markings on the outside of your finished product. With all of those markings completed, now I'm just going to take my fabric scissors and cut each white strip off in order to weave it through the black fabric. And for the black fabric, I cut the strips just up to that first line that I made going across because I wanted the top piece of my vase to be nice and uniform and just all black. And now it's just time to weave those white strips of fabric into the black strips of fabric with each row alternating in order to kind of get that checker print effect. In order for it to keep its shape, I did a combination of super glue gel and hot glue, especially on the edges and the corners. With the pattern completed, I just removed the excess from one side and began to wrap it around the glass jar using some hot glue. With the jar completely covered, I just trimmed off the excess and I think for $2.50, it's a really nice way to try a trend without breaking the bank.
And for the next project, I wanted to throw it back to I think my very first Dollar Tree fall video, which was when I made this pumpkin fall lit up garland, which I really like and I still have it. All I had to do was change the batteries and I wanna put this in my son's room for the fall time. All you need is one of these battery packs from the Dollar Tree, as well as some zip ties, some pumpkin picks and the garland. So really affordable way to get a lit garland and it's obviously of a smaller scale, but I think it looks really good to just drape it across a dresser or something like that that is of a smaller scale. So to start, I'm just zip tying the lights to the garland and then I'm just gonna throw some pumpkins in there just to kind of jazz it up a little bit and make it feel a little bit more festive. If you did want to add something like this to your stairs, um, the only thing I would say is just make sure you're going to be taping that battery pack um, underneath so you can't really see it because it is quite large and you just want to make sure that you're disguising it some way, which is why I like to put it on the dresser again, just so I can kind of tuck it back there, but uh, you don't have to see it all the time. So to add the pumpkins, I'm just going to hot glue them, not to the lights, but to the actual garland. And for just about $5, I think it gives you some really nice ambient lighting during the fall season. Another older, but still one of my favorite projects that I still have to this day is the faux leather repair tape vase. And I think that the Hurricane vase is probably the best vase that you can find at the Dollar Tree for the price point. So if you ever see them at your Dollar Tree, I like to just keep a couple in my craft section so then that way I always have them because there's always something you can do with them. So to do this project, I took this chestnut leather repair tape and I'm just wrapping it all around the Hurricane vase, making sure that my first marking was as straight as possible so each subsequent wrapping would be straight as well but the nice thing about this is there's no adhesive required I'm not ruining the vase I can literally take all of this off and the vase is still good as new um, but I still love this project I think it's very fitting like I've mentioned before I love using leather during the fall time and I think that this project is super user friendly you can do this in under five minutes and under five dollars Another older fall project that I really love was the calendar print wall art. Wall art, especially for the season, can be quite expensive, but if you go to the Dollar Tree, you can make it really affordably. So I took one of the brown picture frames in the 11 by 14, as well as one of the mats. The mats are for an 11 by 14 picture, but they're cut to fit a print that is an eight by 10. So if you get the calendars from the Dollar Tree, you'll want to um, just cut it down to the appropriate size and also the appropriate season. What's nice about this is you can literally take a picture from each different season and switch it out. And it is such an affordable way to get artwork that can grow with you as the seasons might change. And I know these calendars are old, so it won't be this exact same one, but I did recently look at the calendars that the Dollar Tree sells, and I found so many comparable ones that would be great and very fitting still for this type of project. And I think it's a really affordable way to change up your artwork seasonally, but on a budget.
For the next project is an older project, but a project I still love and really stand by is the sweater candle holder. Again, using the hurricane bases from the Dollar Tree and an old sweater I wasn't using. I just cut the sweater down to the appropriate size and taking some hot glue, wrapped the fabric around. And it's just such an affordable way to get some cozy fall decor. Another fall project that I did in the past was this pumpkin topiary, and I took two of the foam pumpkins. Now, I haven't seen these exact pumpkins at the Dollar Tree yet this year, but they did have them last year, and I think they are coming soon. So there is a substitute you could use if you don't find these exactly this year, but for now, I'm sure that they're going to be coming and you will be able to get your hands on them. So to start, all I did was remove that little stem at the top, which comes out really easily. This is all made of styrofoam so everything is really user friendly and I just did so using a box cutter just to cut that little hole in the center because I want all of my florals to be able to fit inside of the entire thing. So I cut a hole on the top of one as well as on the bottom of one and then just on the top of the other and left the bottom of the second one complete. So that way my florals could fit inside and just feel nice and cohesive. But before I stack the pumpkins on top of each other, I just wanted to paint them just, this is like really loud, it's really orange. So I wanted to make it a little bit more creamy and more neutral and then I can have a lot more fun with my florals that way. So I just gave each pumpkin um, a solid two coats and let them to dry overnight. And when I came back the next day, I just hot glued one directly on top of another so then that way all of the holes would match up well so my florals could sit inside. For the next project, this is actually something I made for Christmas, but since that time, I actually pulled this home decor piece that I made out during the fall because I think that antlers and those sorts of materials always look good from fall and they transition well into Christmas. So um, as you can see, I have a collection of antlers that um, my stepfather has found for me over time. So I like to use them in projects because they remind me of him and I think that they look nice. And when I look at high-end home decor places and they're selling these for a small fortune, um, I know I can make it for a lot less. So I kind of just messed with a few of the different antlers and all I did was hot glue the two um, places that it connected together to each other. However, I did wanna mention since that time, um, one of the ends was coming loose. So I did decide to just reinforce it with some super glue gel and then I filled it with a pillar candle. and. I know Pottery Barn was selling this for $99, but this literally at the time, Dollar Tree was only selling things for a dollar a piece. It cost me $2 to make this, which is actually incredible. And for the last Dollar Tree fall home decor project I wanted to share with you is when I made these metal wall hooks. Now, I could have used the wood that the Dollar Tree sells, but I actually preferred what I found at the thrift store for even cheaper for the hooks that we're gonna put on the actual wood. There are so many great selections out there, but I really loved the modernness of these heavy duty magnetic clips sold at the Dollar Tree. These are such good quality for just $1.25 and I wanted to be able to hang things from them but also clip things inside of the clip like pictures and memos and things like that. So this reclaimed wood was 24 inches across and each magnetic clip is two inches across. So after just doing some very simple math, I just separated each clip four inches away from the previous one. Before I attached the metal clips, I just wanted to secure that backing with some additional hot glue so it was nice and flush when I go to put it up on the wall. To attach each clip, I decided to use a combination of super glue and hot glue. If ever you're combining adhesives, start with the one that takes longer to cure and finish with the one that is fast acting. So I super glued all of the clips first and then one by one applied hot glue and then attached it to the reclaimed wood piece. 
and altogether this project cost me less than six dollars which in comparison to things that i've seen online is a real steal and i love that juxtaposition between the black modern clips and the really rustic wood and i think depending on how you style it like i put this little broom here which is giving me like witch vibes and then i have this black and white family photo with a black apron and i think it just looks really complete and appropriate for the season and that is all that I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked today's video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and tell me down in the comments which fall Dollar Tree home decor project was your favorite or which one you plan on trying. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.